Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day so far. Today during our children's chat, I want to talk about this. You guys know what this is, don't you? Yes, a remote control. And the remote control helps us control what we're watching on TV. This remote has a lot of buttons. So with this one, I can, I can rewind and fast forward and pause and I could put on closed captioning, change the channel. I could even like switch over to Netflix if I wanted. So, you know, sometimes it's nice to be the one who gets the remote because you get to be in control of the TV, right? Yeah, totally. Who gets the control of the remote mostly at your house, I wonder? Hmm. Well, today's Bible lesson is a story where Jesus showed the people how much he had control over what was around him. Definitely not like a remote control, but much, much bigger. It happened on the Sabbath day, which would mean Sunday. And Jesus went to the synagogue and teach like he did every Sunday. There was a man there that day that was possessed by an evil spirit. When Jesus went near him, he cried out, what? What are you doing here? What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Be quiet, Jesus said. Then he spoke to the evil spirit. Come out. And you know what happened? The evil spirit did exactly what Jesus commanded. He came out of the man. Now, what's interesting is that the evil spirits inside this man knew exactly who Jesus was. And they wanted him to go away because they were scared that he would destroy them. And they were scared because Jesus has control of everything around him. Those unclean spirits were afraid of Jesus because they knew Jesus was kind of the boss of them, right? And sure enough, he told them to get out, and that's exactly what they did. The Bible tells us that the people were amazed. They looked at one another and asked, what's going on here? Even evil spirits obey his orders. There was power in the words that Jesus spoke that day. He came and he took control of the spirits inside this man and cast them out, which changed this man's life forever. Yeah. Now, can we do that? Can we, when we're sick, can we just command for it to leave our body and then be well again? No, we don't have that kind of control, right? Jesus does, not us. But Jesus wants us to know that he is there for us all the time and wants us to allow the Spirit to guide us as we make decisions and make plans because we are not the ones in control of everything around us. That belongs to God. So let's make sure that we turn to God when we're trying to make decisions to see if maybe we need to think another day on it or we'll wake up in the morning with feeling like we know what the right answer is. So the gift of prayer is a way that we can admit that we don't have control of everything and God does and to seek God's advice when we're trying to make tough decisions. Let's pray. Hey God, we are grateful that you are in control of everything. We are grateful that we have prayer and can talk to you about our own lives. Help us to listen. We ask this in Jesus' name and all of God's people said, amen. All right, y'all have a great week. Bye.